Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to User1 Productions, my name is David and in today's Unity tutorial we're going to be looking at a very basic health system. More or less if we walk into an object, preferably an enemy, we will take damage depending on what kind of enemy it is and some other variables. We will also be looking at a death screen for when you die you get the 0% health, you'll go to a screen that says restart or you can just go back to main menu. As always, my friends, if you find this video helpful or useful in any sort of way, remember to drop me a like, subscribe if you're new, and click that notification bell. And everything you can find in this video, sound effects, models, scripts, will be all linked on a Google Drive in the description for a free download. Before I go any further ahead, you guys, in the comments, let me know if you guys would want to see me do some gameplays on just playing random video games on Twitch, if that's something that might interest you. Just remember to leave it in the comments saying, yes, we want to see you go live on Twitch. We'll be playing video games, maybe like Resident Evil, Slender Man, Fortnite, Minecraft, whatever you guys want to see. So if that's something you do want to see come from me, leave it in the comments and let me know. Without further ado, let me hop in the Unity and I can show off what I've created and then we'll go into how I accomplished it. So here we are in our Unity test scene that we have been creating. Uh, and now you'll notice that we have this little guy right here. Okay, and now every time we walk into him, he's going to give us damage. And then when we do hit 0% damage, we will die. We'll get to a death screen. We have a little sound effect that plays. So let's just go back and forth, hitting ourselves into him. And let's just get to the death screen. If it comes any quicker, there are different variables you could set. It could be a random range of damage or a set number, which I probably should have done for this tutorial. But there we are. We got the 0% health and now we're dead. We can either exit game, go to the main menu or just restart. I'll press restart and we're back in the game. We'll be going over that a little later on. But for now, let's go over how I accomplished creating the health. So all I've done is actually create this little guy. He's made out of a couple of cubes. If we click him, you'll see there's a box collider all the way around him. And when I walk into that box collider, it gives me damage. So first of all, we need to make sure his box collider or whatever collider you're using for the enemy it has to have is trigger on, okay? He's gonna be getting the enemy damage script, so let's go over what's in here real quick. We have a lot of things we could play with at the top here. We have a public game object for our player because we need to call back to him. We have four different floats. The first one is the damage range, which is private. Another float for damage set. This is gonna be a set number. So obviously you can see right here, it's 25. And then damage range, it could be a range between zero and 10, 20 to 30, whatever you guys set it to. And in order to use damage range, we need a minimum and max damage, which we have two floats for right here, okay? Two bools will tell us which one we want to use, whether we want to use random damage or a set damage. And then we have an audio clip with an array. This is what the little brackets mean, that's an array. And then an audio source, which is going to be the sound effects we play. Um, I have an array of audio clips, so that way it doesn't play the same sound effect each time. It actually picks between different clips to play it's kind of randomized so in our start function we have damage range equals random dot range min damage and max damage it's more or less saying if our editor says min damage is zero max damage is 50 it's going to randomly pick a number between zero and 50 each time we hit the enemy and then for the audio source here we just say that the source we want to play from is our player's audio source that's why we grab the audio source component from the player now we have a void on trigger enter. So let's look at this first if statement here. So we need to make sure that our player is walking into the object. We do that by just checking the tag of the player. So if you're not already, your first person controller should have the tag of player. Okay. And this first if statement is for random damage. So if we walk into it and our random damage is on, we take away from the player's health and then we play an audio source. Same thing goes for down here, except this is for a set damage which we'll go over in the editor a little later and you guys will understand what this is a little better. So now what we actually need to do is we need to create a script for our player, which if I go to the player real quick, we have player health script. So let's open that up and go over it real quick. We have four game object at the top here. We have a HUD, inventory, death screen, and we call back to the player as well as a public float for health. I just defaulted it to hundred because that seems like a very good number to be using for health, hundred percent. In the void start, we want to have death screen set active false because obviously we're not dead when we first start. Right here, we say if our health is equal to or less than zero, we deactivate the player script so we can no longer move around. We unlock and visualize our mouse so we can actually see it in the game. 
the HUD and inventory become false because I don't want to be able to shoot my gun or see the minimap while the death screen is up. And after all that's finished, the death screen comes up, it gets activated on our screen. Very nice. And then we have this other little if statement right down here. This says if the health gets greater than 100, it just goes back to 100. We do this because in the next tutorial, we're going to be looking at med kits. And say the med kit gives us 50% health and we are already at 90. We just want it to go up to 100 instead of 140. At first, it's going to jump to 140 and then this script's going to be like, hey, you guys are above 100. We need to put you back to 100. That's more or less what it does. Okay, let's make sure we attach those uh, the scripts accordingly. So the enemy gets enemy damage. We're going to set our player in the first box right here at the top. And then these are your values you get to play around with. So damage set, I'm going to set it to, I'm going to do 30 for tutorial reasons. Min damage, I'm going to do uh, 1. And max damage, I'll do 15. We have two different bools. So if you want to use this range, it's going to be random damage. If you want to use the set damage, do set damage and make sure random range is off like that. I'll show you that right after we go over all this stuff. Right here you have the array of sounds. I have four different sound effects that play. You can add literally a hundred if you wanted to, but this will do for me. Now up at here at the player, we need to go and find our HUD, which I will show you right here. If we're looking at this bottom screen real quick. The HUD is going to be all this stuff. As you can see, I'll flash it on and off. It's going to turn off, so that way we don't see that when the death screen comes up. And that's going to be put into the HUD right here in our player health script. Inventory is just going to be like whatever weapon we're holding. It's just going to turn it off so that way we don't see it when we're dead. And that goes right here in inventory. And then we have death screen, which I'll show you what I did here. Obviously, you cannot have it part of your HUD. So what you do is you right click on your first person character. I did UI canvas and then it created this for me, which I'll turn it on real quick. It created a brand new canvas right here. Very nice. And then inside the canvas, I was right clicking, going to UI. I added a raw image and made it gray in the background, added some text saying you died. And then I have three buttons for restart, main menu and exit. You can set this up any single way as long as the restart menu and exit they're all buttons that we can interact with the reason we have this is because we have a third script for this tutorial we have death screen what is this one called death screen buttons okay so in this script we have a public void uh menu button and all this is going to do it's an input field we're going to type in the name of whatever scene we want it to load so this can be used for the restart button or the save menu or the main menu, whatever you need, because all it's gonna do is look for the name that you input. And we have quit game, which just quits application. Super easy script. We just gotta put it into action here. So the actual canvas that we created that holds all this stuff inside of it is where I'm gonna put the script. I'm going to grab, say, the main menu button. I'm gonna add a functionality right down here in the on click. And then we want to click and drag death screen into this first box underneath runtime. We go inside, we say death screen buttons, and then we want death menu button. Okay. And then it's going to search for a scene. Uh, since this is going to be main menu, I call it main menu because I have another scene right here called main menu. We haven't covered a main menu in the tutorial series yet, and we're going to be getting there very shortly, but this is all it is. Just a couple of buttons. Uh, you don't necessarily need this just yet. You can just have a restart button if you haven't watched a main menu tutorial by me or someone else yet. So then let's go back to the other scene, which I just have as sample scene, which is good to know because if we go back to that death screen, we have a restart button. We do that same thing and get to this part, and I just called it sample scene. So this is the scene it's going to be loading, uh, the level it loads, just input exactly what it says. And then exit is just going to be the exit button. Go death screen buttons and quit game. Super easy. Uh, if we are using a restart and main menu, we want to go file, build settings, and add our scenes to the top here. So I have my main menu and sample scene. You typically want these to be in order. So obviously main menu would be zero at the top. And now I'm going to unclick maximize on play. And we're going to be looking at the player's health. So I'm going to set the... I'm going to do set damage to 30 at first. And what we're going to be looking at is this number down here for health. Right now it's at 100. So it should go to 70 and then 40 and then 10. 
So if we walk into it, 70, 40, 10, and then zero. Well, it actually says negative 20, but anything under zero is gonna pop up the death screen. Perfect. Let's just check to make sure the random range is working. So I'm going to uncheck set damage, go random range, and then that's a range between one and 15. So again, I'll be checking the health right down here for this number to be changing kind of a little more random. So let's walk up to it. Let's hit him. That took 3% damage. That took five. That took two and then so on. So different enemies might take different amounts of damage from you. And that's why I have that functionality there. And that's going to be it for this tutorial, you guys. I hope you all have enjoyed. Remember, everything you can find in this tutorial series is linked in the description for a free download. If you guys are new to the channel, please remember to drop me a like and subscribe. And leave in the comment section what you thought about what I said in the beginning about starting a live streaming Twitch channel. Until the next video, you guys, this is going to be actually part one of three for the health system. Part two, we're going to be looking at the health bar. We're going to get that functionality correct. And then we'll also be looking at med kits to replenish health. That's going to be a spoiler for all you guys that actually stayed to the end. And if you did stay to the end, go in the comment section and just say user one gang. So I know you guys stayed to the end. With all that being said, guys, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Stay awesome. This is user one production signing off for now. Peace.